In this video, I'm going to be taking a deep dive into the deadly assassin of Suicide Squad Killer Justice League, Deadshot. I'll be looking at his past history in the DC Universe, gameplay mechanics, and digging through all three of his talent trees. Deadshot is a former military sniper with a reckless attitude, a death wish, and a shot that never misses, but there is so much more to his character than that. Floyd Lawton had a rough upbringing, being born into a wealthy but abusive family in Gotham City. When he was younger, he discovered he had a natural talent for marksmanship, showing incredible accuracy and proficiency with a wide range of different firearms. Lloyd used this ability to take control of his life in a world that he found difficult and chaotic. As he got older before turning to crime, Lawton tried his hand as a vigilante, in an attempt to replace Batman as the protector of Gotham City. However, due to his brutal form of law enforcement, he quickly attracted the attention of the police department. This is when things took a dark turn for Floyd, becoming a gun for hire with a death wish and a good one at that. But that's not to say Deadshot is completely cold hearted, with him willing to do anything for his daughter Zoe. After spending a little time in Arkham, Floyd was approached by Amanda Waller and joined Task Force X, otherwise known as the Suicide Squad, and given one mission, to kill the Justice League. In Suicide Squad Killer Justice League, Deadshot is the group's marksman with access to sniper rifles, assault rifles, and pistols, which gives him a loadout best suited for long to mid range. For his melee, he uses his signature wrist cannons, allowing him to use his melee attacks at a much longer range than the rest of the squad. His traversal is a jetpack, which he uses to get high above the battlefield for that perfect shot. He can travel in any direction, use the afterburner for short bursts of speed, and use kickstart to regain his traversal to fly a little further. He can also hover in midair while aiming down sights. His suicide strike does a large amount of damage to a single target and makes all enemies nearby more susceptible to critical hits for a short time. His traversal attack is the fuel dump, letting off a massive burst using his jetpack to blast a wide area damaging multiple enemies. Now let's take a look at Deadshot's three talent trees, Tools of the Trade, Locked and Loaded, and Fly Like a Bullet. I'm going to go over every talent in these three trees, so if you want a closer look, feel free to pause the video at any time. Let's start by looking at Tools of the Trade and its passive talent, Tools of the Trade. Increases sniper rifle stability, and every two combo increases sniper rifle critical hit damage by 2%. For the tier one, there is only one skill to choose from, and that is Sniper. This is a special skill, Sniper activates at 5 combo or higher and increases firearm damage by 25% and causes critical counters to regenerate 5% shield. Tier 2 gives us 3 talents to choose from. We have Hollow Point, which increases critical hit damage by 15%, Killer Recoil, which increases melee damage by 200%, but the melee cooldown is increased by 2 seconds, and punch it in. Melee hits cause enemies to spawn firearm ammo, but the melee cooldown is increased by one second. Going on to tier three of Tools of the Trade, we have three talents to pick from. Sniper Rifle Specialist at 10 combo or higher, crit hits with sniper rifles have a 100% chance to cause enemies to bleed for 50% of the damage dealt for 10 seconds. Assault Rifle Specialist, Critical hit damage with assault rifles is increased by 20%. And Pistol Specialist. At 10 combo or higher, crit hit chance with pistols is increased by 25%. Tier 4 has 3 talents to pick from. Starting with In the Red, increase crit hit damage by 20% while below 50% shield. Ultra Impact increases crit hit chance by 20%. And Lethal Flow. Crit hits have a 100% chance to generate one combo. This can only happen once every five seconds. Tier 5 has two talents to choose from. Starting with Eye of the Sniper increases crit hit damage by 50%. And Grenade Surplus increase grenade ammo capacity by one. Tier 6 only has the one talent to choose from and that is cooldown. At 20 combo or higher, successful counters increase crit hit damage by 10% for 0 seconds, which I can only assume means until the combo runs out. Tier 7 has 3 talents to choose from, starting with Shield Sapper. At 20 combo or higher, Shield Harvest chance is increased by 25% on critical hits. Quick Draw. At 20 combo or higher, critical reloads have a 100% chance to generate 5 combo. And Skybound Shooter. Critical reloads while airborne reduce jetpack heat buildup by 30%. This can only happen once every 10 seconds. 
For tier 8, we have a single talent to choose, and that's Every Bullet Counts. Each firearm hit on an enemy increases the damage dealt by 5%, and critical hits increase that damage dealt by 10%, up to a maximum of 150%, until you miss a shot. Going on to tier 9, we have three talents to pick from. Starting with Bloodthirsty, at 30 combo or higher, critical hits have a 100% chance to cause enemies to bleed for 100% of the damage dealt over 10 seconds. Cover Shooter, damage dealt is increased by 25% when shield is above 50%. And Critical Reflexes, at 30 combo or higher, successful counters have a 100% chance to instantly reload all firearms. Going on to tier 10 of Tools of the Trade, we have three big talents to pick from. Starting with Bullseye. This is a special skill. Transforms Sniper into Bullseye. This requires 40 combo or higher and increases shield capacity by 100%, shield overcharge by 50%, and shield harvest chance by 25%. Then we have Long Haul. Increases maximum combo by 15, and if the combo breaker triggers at 15 combo or higher, you regenerate 15 combo. This can only happen once every 60 seconds. And finally, for tier 10 of Tools of the Trade, we have I Never Miss. This is another special skill that transforms Sniper into I Never Miss. This requires 40 combo or higher and increases firearm damage by 100% and crit hit damage by 100%. For Deadshot's second tree, we have Locked and Loaded, with the passive Locked and Loaded. Deadshot's intense training gives him a chance to instantly reload all firearms when he melee kills an enemy. This is a 10% chance you'll instantly reload both firearms on a melee kill. His tier 1 for Locked and Loaded gives us three choices. Perfect form. At 5 combo or higher, damage reduction is increased by 25% and shield overcharge is increased by 50%. Shredder. Melee hits have a 100% chance to cause enemies to bleed for 100% of the damage dealt over 5 seconds, but melee cooldown is increased by 1 second. And Force Reduction. Melee hits cause enemies to deal 75% less damage for 15 seconds. Tier 2 gives us one choice, and that is Suicide Strike. Every character has the ability to do the Suicide Strike, but they all have a bit of a different spin on them. Suicide Strike is a powerful single target attack that can be executed after having built up enough Suicide Strike resource. Deadshot Suicide Strike also makes all nearby enemies more susceptible to critical hits for a short period of time. So like all characters, Deadshot does a powerful hit on a single enemy, but then all enemies within 10 meters become more susceptible to crits for a short period. His tier 3 of Locked and Loaded also only has a single talent to pick from, and that's Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper activates at 10 combo or higher and increases shield harvest damage by 40%, and Shield Harvesting has a 25% chance to instantly reload all firearms. Going on to Tier 4, we have three talents to choose from. Starting with Counter Attack. At 10 combo or higher, damage dealt is increased by 50% against enemies that have more than 50% health. Triple Shot. Performing three wrist cannon hits while airborne generates 15 combo. This can only happen once every 15 seconds. And Bulk Up. Successful counters generate 5% shield, and critical counters generate 10% shield. Tier 5 gives us two choices, Knuckle Duster, increase melee damage by 50%, and Flight Suit, performing a shield harvest while airborne, generates 5 combo. Moving on to Tier 6, we have a single talent to choose here, and that's Stronghold. At 20 combo or higher, crit hits generate 2% shield. Tier 7 of Locked and Loaded gives us two talents to choose from, starting with Strike Stacker. Suicide Strike kills generate 5% additional combo. And Power Through. When your shield reaches zero, it will instantly regenerate 100% and fully overcharge. This can only happen once every 180 seconds. Tier 8 gives us one talent to pick, and that is Dirty Bomb. At 30 combo or higher, melee kills and critical hit kills have a 100% chance to cause the enemy to explode and deal 25% of their maximum health as damage to enemies within 10 meters. For tier 9, we have two talents to choose from, starting with Punching It. Melee damage is increased by 100% while airborne. And Run is High. At 30 combo or higher, damage reduction is increased by 50%. Tier 10 of Locked and Loaded gives us three big talents to choose from. 
Starting with Deadly Assassin, this is a special skill. This transforms Grim Reaper into Deadly Assassin. This requires 50 combo or higher and increases shield overcharge by 100% and firearm damage by 150%. Then we have Aerial Assault. At max combo, every one second spent after burning generates 10% suicide strike resource. And finally, for tier 10 of Locked and Loaded, we have Carnage. This is a special skill that transforms Grim Reaper into Carnage. This requires 50 combo or higher and increases suicide strike resource buildup by 50%. Fuel dump traversal attack resource build up by 50% and damage reduction against enemies within 25 meters by 25%. And onto his final talent tree, we have Fly Like a Bullet with the passive Fly Like a Bullet. On screen there, you can see some of the controls for his jetpack. And then moving on to tier one, we have a single talent to choose, which is Air Reach. Every 15 combo increase your crit hit chance by 5% while using the jetpack and every 10 seconds spent airborne generates one combo. For tier two, we have two talents to choose from, starting with active heat sinks. Decrease jetpack heat buildup rate by 50% and refuel. Increase fuel dump traversal attack resource buildup by 50%. Tier three of Fly Like a Bullet has a single talent and that is after burning. At 10 combo or higher, afterburner heat buildup rate is decreased by 25% and each second spent using the afterburner generates 1% shield. Tier 4 has two talents to pick from, starting with air superiority. Increase shield harvest damage by 50% while airborne. And top up. Performing a fuel dump traversal attack has a 50% chance to refill 25% fuel dump resource. Moving on to tier 5, we also have two talents to pick from. Starting with Hotshot, performing a kickstart increases damage dealt by 25% for 10 seconds. And Flame Out, hitting 5 or more enemies with a fuel dump traversal attack generates 5 combo. Moving on to tier 6, we have a single talent to choose, and that's Offset. At 20 combo or higher, enemy kills remove 15% jetpack heat buildup. Moving on to Fly Like a Bullet Tier 7, we have two talents to choose from. Airstrike at 20 combo or higher, grenade damage is increased by 50% while airborne. And Pinnacle Hits, crit hit damage is increased by 50% while airborne. Tier 8 and 9 for Fly Like a Bullet both only have a single talent, with Tier 8 being Hang Time. At 30 combo or higher, every one second spent airborne increases firearm damage by 20%, up to a maximum 100%. And tier 9 being Squad Ultimate. This is a skill we have not seen in any of the alpha or previews yet, however we do have the right up here to go through. The Squad Ultimate is a special skill. Unlocks Deadshot's ability to trigger the Squad Ultimate. This slows down enemies and locks down vehicles around the squad for 30 seconds. Activate it by pressing triangle and circle on the PS5 when the squad meter is fully charged. Using this ability depletes the meter for all squad members. And then for tier 10 of Fly Like a Bullet, we have two talents to choose from. Ultimate Power Conservation. Increase fuel dump traversal attack and suicide strike resource buildup rate by 50% while the squad ultimate is active. And then finally for tier 10 of Fly Like a Bullet, we have Ultimate Carnage. Increase grenade and fuel dump traversal attack damage by 150% while the squad ultimate is active. As you can see by his weapons, melee, traversal and talent trees, Deadshot is set to be a ranged beast. What do you make of Deadshot? Is he going to be your main or do you have your sights on another character? If you're not sure who to play first, make sure you check out my Who Should You Main video here. If you want to support the channel, you can join over on Patreon or become my first channel member. Links are in the description. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.